Hi, my name is Tina. I'm head of design of Victoria Designs. And we have another crafting kit for you, the Cozy Cottage Crafting Printables Kit. If you're into the cottage core aesthetic, this is it. Alexandra from the YouTube channel Alexandra M has made an amazing journal with these printables. Alexandra shares incredibly creative crafts and tutorials on her YouTube channel, so go check it out. In this video, Alexandra is going to show you our cozy cottage kit and the flip through of her journal that you can make later on as well. The tutorial will be in a separate video. And now let me give the word to Alexandra. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and I'm glad to welcome you to this video, which is another collaboration and another video tutorial for Victoria Designs featuring one of their newest project packs, which is called Cozy Cottage. And I have a preview of some of the pages printed out for you here so that you could have a look. The papers are stunning each time a new pack is released and literally I would get all of them if I could. So this time I was really happy to craft with the cozy cottage paper pack and I hope you will be inspired by the project that I'm going to show you today and I will guide you through the process of uh, creating this trifold that I have here on my desk. This is how it looks from the top and from the side. It has this fabric uh, closure and it has a cute charm which was created with one of the cutouts from the pack. It has some beads on the strings which were used for binding the signatures and since uh, I used this uh, paper on the front cover which has lots of buttons on it I thought that it would be really cute to stitch some buttons to um, the fabric closure as well. The back is rather simple so let's have a look inside and see what this journal has in it. So the closure is attached to the spine of the book right here. So as I mentioned before, it's a trifold. And although the front of the cover might look pretty simple, when you open your journal, you have more to look at. So this is that additional cover that unfolds to this side. And let's start from the inside of the front cover. We have a fabric flap and a pocket right here that closes very simple uh, with the help of this uh, paper strap that looks really nice, almost like leather. That's why I um, enjoy so much using craft cardstock and uh, color it with uh, distress uh, inks or stains because then it has a completely different look and I adore it. All of the uh, pattern papers that you will see in this journal are from the uh, project pack Cozy Cottage. I have also used for uh, the signatures uh, mainly and in some places on the journaling cards and ephemera uh, book pages um, so that's I think not a problem for any of you to get. This pocket is an accordion one and inside this pocket I have a few tags that I made using the um, cut out elements and other elements from the papers in the pack. I really had fun with it. I had a complete blast uh, fussy cutting uh, all of those beautiful florals and butterflies and adding fabrics and pins and uh, heat embossing uh, different tiny pieces that add so much character to any journal. So these are two tags and they're plain in the back. Okay, so these are the tags and these are 
two of the journaling cards that I have also um, created using the papers in the pack and I fussy cut out some of the elements that you can see on the journal pages and not necessarily on the cut out uh, sheets which also come with your uh, project pack. Okay, and I have used um, some rhinestones there to embellish the butterflies and I splattered some uh, gold acrylic paint on most of the uh, tags and ephemera cards in this uh, journal. I actually want to move to this side of the cover before we flip through the pages in the journal. Okay, so this side of the cover has another fabric pocket, very easy uh, to create and I'm sure it will not be a problem for any of you, although uh, all the sewing in this project is completely um, optional and you can just use paper and um, glue uh, if you are gluing the uh, fabric pieces down to the cover and the paper layers which are underneath fabric tack will uh, do the amazing job with that and actually I'm uh, most of the time using just plain uh, tacky glue from Aline's and I think it does the job great as well. Okay, so on this side of the cover, back to our point at hand, uh, I uh, glued down some of the butterflies from the paper collection and then there is another charm on that pin. Some of the labels with the dates that you will see throughout the journal are something that I made uh, on my own. They are not included in the paper pack and they are very easy to create or if you want to you can go uh, to the post on my blog and uh, download them from there. If you want to create something on your own you can go ahead and just type uh, dates which might be meaningful to you or as well just some random dates and print them on the tea or coffee dyed paper. That's that's all it is to it. So inside this pocket since it's a fabric one and it kind of stretches nicely I thought I will store some of the additional tags that I have created let me show you this one first with a cute little sparrow and this tag with a bird there. And what I did is just a uh, papal layer and this is one of the background uh, sheets or maybe not the background sheets but one of the more uh, plain uh, designs of the uh, journal pages. So I printed that out, then I uh, stitched a piece of muslin to each one of those tags and then on top of the muslin I layered the elements which I cut out from different pages and uh, created these compositions there. And then these are just some plain uh, journaling cards that I uh, downsized and um, glued down to the craft card stock and then crazy stitched uh, all around. There are the signatures themselves which are attached to uh, one of the spines in our trifold and there are two spines as you can see so one of them has the signatures and then um, as far as this spine is concerned I have been thinking how I want to embellish it because uh, till the end of the video you will not see anything on this section of the spine. This is something that I stamped right before I uh, started to uh, film this overview. So on the inside of the back cover which is also the middle section of our trifold I have this um, flip out page which covers another section with this rather plain journal on the inside. The cover is a printout of one of the page designs 
from the Cozy Cottage Paper Pack. And I printed the design actually on both sides. And that's the cover of this notebook. I also like this page from the pack with a different sort of uh, photos or maybe stamps uh, with different houses and gardens. That looks amazing. So the notebook goes there. And on the front of this page itself, uh, I stamped in a few places uh, in the background and then used uh, one of those book pages that I was talking about uh, earlier and layered it um, with a card that I printed and another piece of muslin that everything is stitched onto. And then there is another uh, date tag or label right there. So uh, there are three signatures in the journal. And as a matter of fact, they are packed with different ephemera pieces that I have created. As usual, stunning, full of details and gorgeous designs. I printed all of them on both sides and I added uh, some of uh, the blank uh, pages either from different uh, notebooks that I had or uh, tea dyed pages um, just to have some more heft and uh, journaling space in this journal. But I have used definitely every single uh, page from the uh, digital project pack and I love it so much. So this is one of the snippets that I created and I will be showing you uh, once again all the ephemera pieces uh, later on in the tutorial. Some more pages on this page right here. I have a pocket with two tags inside and this adorable butterfly, one of my favorites. The designs are absolutely beautiful and I like the combination of the uh, pink and uh, pastel green colors. They look very nice and effective together. There is a tuck spot here with another of the journaling cards. More beautiful page designs. Uh, this is one of the vintage slides that I also explain uh, how to create and you can uh, look through the timestamps in the description of this video to get to the um, section which uh, interests you. So um, that process of creation of these um, vintage slides using one of the pages from the project pack will be uh, time stamped in there for your convenience. I think I will go faster. On this page I just collaged some of the leftover uh, paper pieces that I had. And on this page uh, there is this cluster with the watering can and a sparrow and this faux uh, vintage photo tucked behind it. Next we have the beginning of the second signature. More gorgeous papers and faux uh, vintage photo in there. Another flip out glycine envelope with a journaling card right there and one more faux postage stamp on that side and a slide on this one. That's the image of those gloves that I cut out to use on uh, one of the tags that I previously showed you. Love the lantern here. Some blank paper for writing. And again, beautiful, beautiful designs on the pages. Here we have like a frame with an acetate window and a tag to tuck behind. And that's the beginning of the third signature. More pages. Oh, let's uh, have a look at what we have on 
um, this side of the cover and there are also two frames with the acetate windows and the tags tuck behind them and this time I stitched the frames right to the uh, paper with which I covered the chipboard piece. That's the album, that's the trifold. I hope you like it. I hope it inspires you uh, to create one of the uh, journals of your own using the beautiful Cozy Cottage paper collection by Victoria Designs. And that tutorial follows.